Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Now, today I am going to be reviewing the James Charles X Morphe palette. First off, I wanted to share the news that I got a good foundation shade. I matched it, so it's not this 3.0 anymore. It's a 2.0. Yay, I matched. Hopefully. I don't know, I haven't used it yet, so I guess let's try it. It's brand new, so it's going to take a bit to pump up. And there. Okay. Please match, please match, please match. Ooh. Hello. You can't really see it because of the light. But here, how about the other side? Oh, yeah. <gasps> Yay! That's a pretty good match. So, anyway, I'm just going to be... I'm just gonna do my normal base of makeup. Also, I got a new beauty blender. And then I will review the palette. So I will see you when all of my base steps are done. Foundation, concealer, brows. And now time for the eyeshadow. So for me, this was so much bigger than I expected. Like. I thought it would be probably the size of a normal Morphe palette, which is about like this size. I thought it was just gonna be like this, but no, it's huge. Like the pan sizes are just huge. Like hello, so good. And so what I'm going to be doing to demonstrate the rainbow-ness of this whole palette is I'm gonna be doing a rainbow look. Now, this look was originally inspired by this, so it's gonna be similar to this, except I don't, I'm not gonna paint myself white, so I'm not gonna have white in here. So the first few steps are gonna be pretty similar to his look. I'm gonna be taking this shade, this beautiful purple shade, which is called Escape, and first off, oh, you're just gonna see, oh, primer. Yes, primer is, I haven't tried it without primer, but primer, I would assume, is very important because when I did use this with primer, so pigmented, so amazing. So I'm going to be using the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion Anti-Aging. And I'm just going to be putting that on my eye. And I'm going to be doing more of a look kind of around this area, including about here. So I'm going to be putting the primer there too. Okay, now that I've applied my eyeshadow primer all the way from the inner corner to the outer corner about here, sorry it's not focusing, um, I'm just going to be going in with Escape, which is that deep purple. I'm going to be going like this. Oof, here. I'm going to be looking in this mirror because James Charles's palette does not have a mirror. Sorry, my background's exposed, but since you guys need a pretty good view, I'm going to put you all the way over here. You're making upward strokes kind of like this, and like a really thick cat eye almost. Once you're happy with your tail of purple on your eye, the next step is to take your M506 and dip into B, which is this gorgeous yellow. And here, watch. I'm only going to dip in a bit. Two little taps, and... Like, so good. You're just going to be blending that on your nose a bit, and bringing it down here a bit, and kind of blending it up-ish, over, close to your brow, but not like on your brow or anything. Now, one problem I have had is you can see there's a bit of discoloration in between here because on my inner corner nothing really applies well i'll put concealer to cover up the color of my natural skin there because it doesn't look great and nothing sticks there so that's the only reason why this is happening is because the primer didn't really stick well so it's looking weird but that's the only flaw i've found with this palette and i'm just going to be also blending with my 506 just out a bit more over here you don't have to blend it amazingly but just blend out the yellow a bit more onto your nose and stuff. Next, I'm going to be taking one of my favorite shades, 
you're kidding because it's so pigmented. Like, here, watch. Boop, boop, boop. A few taps. And look at that. Amazing. I can't remember. I think he said this is one of the pressed pigments, but it is so good. Such a gorgeous red. I tried comparing this red with the red from Take Me Back to Brazil. I've used that for so many looks now. But when I got this, Take Me Back to Brazil is gone. This is the Take Me Back to Brazil palette. This, nowhere near pigmented as this. So I'm just going to be taking this and kind of dragging it out over kind of by the purple. And when I shut my eye, it kind of goes away a bit. So you want to make sure that you can see the very pigmented red going across your eye. I'm kind of connecting it with the purple. And don't worry, we're going to be blending it out with a pink later. Kind of blend it with the yellow as well. <clears throat> and I would also like to say this, like watch here, not blended at all, right? It's so blendable. Like watch this here. It's so easily blendable. Like, hello. You, if you can, if it's not sold out, if it's at stores, I would totally recommend this palette. It is literally the best palette. I actually bought two. I bought two because it is so amazing. And if it ever, if he doesn't restock it, I am keeping this because it is just the best palette I've ever used. Oof. Sun just came out from behind a cloud and now it's making my lighting really weird. Whatever, there's just sun on my robe now. We're gonna be taking this shade, which is 518, and we are going to be plopping that. Once again, little taps, not too much. And then it is so pigmented. You don't even need to dig in it like other palettes. Not too much layering required, it's just amazing. We're gonna be blending the red and the yellow. So put that in between that red and yellow and you should get an orangey look. Now this isn't just to blend it, this is also to show more of the rainbow instead of red and yellow. You want red, orange, yellow so you get more of a variety of color. So after it's blended, you can also just plop some in to get more of that orange too. Kind of like that, except I'm gonna blend it better. And then I'm going to be kind of extending this wing a bit, and I'm going to be blending these two together with some pink and a lighter purple. So I'm gonna take my flat brush, that doesn't have a name, it's just kind of a flat brush, kind of flat, like me. And then I am going to be just adding a bit more purple and kind of extending that wing a bit. We're just gonna kinda make it like a sharp arrow going up. Not straight up though. Like that. And then we're going to be getting some pink in there. I'm gonna be going in with Skip. I'm going to be blending the red and purple. Once again, best these are the best colors I've ever used in any palette. The best yellow, the best orange, the best red, the best pink, the best purple. You can't really see what I'm pointing to, but you kind of get what I mean. Just so good. And don't worry about getting lots of the color down on your lid because we're gonna be putting some other colors there. Now we're also gonna be taking that skip pink and we're going to kind of drag it out with the wing. Also, you can blend this pink up into here just to get more of that pop of pink in there. Now, I know this is a really extreme, bold look for a lot of you, so you don't have to do this. I'm just showing you all the colors. I'm going to be having a green, a blue, a darker blue, and I'm just gonna be showing you most of the bold colors on this palette. I'm just gonna be blending this out with a bigger blending brush, and this is the M443, 
and just blending it and make sure that this looks decently blended, which is pretty easy with this palette. You don't need to blend hard. It's just really easy. I'm going to be taking the second purple, purple shade called Single, and I'm going to be blending that out just a bit more. Originally, when getting this palette, um, I was very skeptical. I did not think that it was going to be as pigmented as James said it would, but now that I'm using it, it's really, really good. I'm going to be dipping in with a flatter brush back into that first purple color, which is Escape, and just making this a bit wider and making it flow better up into the eye. Once you're happy with the pigmentation and blendedness of this, then you can start to add the colors down here. This part, for the bottom part, I'm mainly going to be using a flat brush. The first shade I will be dipping into is this shade, which is called Social Blade. And don't really need a lot, you can just dip in. That's the great thing about this palette. And just apply. I'm also dragging this green out just a bit into the yellow and kind of blending them together. After you finish with the green, take this shade called Playground, which is this absolutely gorgeous blue, and apply. I'm using a downward motion for this, which is a bit different how I've applied the other shades, but you can kind of blend this out also to this side. Next, take the color Cola, which is this darker blue down here, and add it between that light blue and that dark purple. And that's the top part of the eye. Next, what you're gonna do is really simple down here. You're just gonna be taking the shades that you have up here and putting them down here. So, we're gonna be putting them in our waterline. So we're gonna take Social Blade, and just add that into the closest part, our inner corner-ish area on our waterline. You can also have it a bit lower than the waterline too. After you're satisfied with that green, you're gonna be taking Playground, which is that nice light blue, and putting it under the Playground shade above. Blending it in, kind of pulling it out. Mix the green and the blue together. And then you can take that last blue color that we used, <laughs> Cola. Oops. And blend that with that purple. Once you are happy with this eye, you can do the other eye just the same. Okay, now that I finished both eyes, this is what it looks like. And I'm going to apply mascara on my top lashes. I don't do my bottom lashes. And then I will show you how to apply that rainbow lip. Now that I've applied my mascara, I am going to be doing the lips. And, and you will not be needing any lipstick. You will be using a primer instead because we're going to be doing it with eyeshadow. We're going to be actually using a flat brush for most of this. Oh, and by the way, yes, I know this eye is less good than this eye. So we're going to be taking this shade, you're kidding, and we're going to be putting it in the center of our lips. Drawing a line down. And yes, it does look a little less pigmented, but I think that's just because it's my lip. I'm not on an eye. Next, we're going to be taking this shade, the 518, and putting it next to that. Make sure you're blending the shades together as well. You're going to be putting that on the other side too. You're going to be using that next shade called B, this gorgeous yellow, and applying it on both sides. Next, we're going to be taking the shade Social Blade and putting that on both sides. Next, we're taking this blue shade called Playground and applying that on the other side of the green. And the last shade we'll be doing on the lips is Escape. Now I kind of messed up a bit over here and went a bit down 
under the lip. I'm going to be taking my concealer brush and just cleaning that up. Now, as you can see, the red didn't really blend out too much in the top, so I'm going to be going back in those shades that didn't really blend out and blend them even more. Now that I've finished touching up the lips, I am going to set this beautiful look from this beautiful palette for the whole day with the MAC Fix Plus. Now, complete review of the palette. Pigment, stunning, best ever. Blendability, pretty good. I mean, I couldn't really blend it that well on the lip, but that's because it's a lip, not an actual eye. So the blendability is pretty good. And honestly, it's just stunning. So absolutely recommend buying it if you can. And thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next Thursday. Goodbye.